Thank you for subscribing to this channel. This is a reading part C practice video. According to the given paragraph, option B is correct. Termination of pregnancy is a possibility in some countries. This is supported by the sentence that states, if serious anomalies are diagnosed, the option of terminating the pregnancy. Let's analyze why the other options are incorrect. A. The paragraph does not indicate that termination of pregnancy is commonly practiced in some countries. It only states that it is a possibility, but not necessarily a common practice. C. The paragraph does not mention that termination of pregnancy is a routine practice in most countries. It specifically refers to some countries and does not provide information about the majority of countries. D. The paragraph states that termination of pregnancy is an option for serious anomalies, but it does not specify that it is often carried out for serious anomalies. The frequency or rate of carrying out terminations for serious anomalies is not mentioned. In summary, based on the paragraph, option B is the correct answer because it accurately reflects that termination of pregnancy is a possibility in some countries. Let's look at the next question.
According to the given paragraph, the correct answer is option C. C. Prenatal chromosome screening has been observed to be used in all pregnancies. The relevant sentence from the paragraph that supports this is, over the past five decades, prenatal chromosome screening, PCs, has been expanded to encompass the entire obstetric population. This sentence states that prenatal chromosome screening has been expanded to include the entire obstetric population, which implies that it is observed to be used in all pregnancies. Now let's discuss why the other options are incorrect. A. The paragraph does not mention anything about confirming an increase in screening risk. It discusses the high false positive rates associated with aneuploidy screening tests but does not mention confirming an increase in screening risk. Therefore, option A is incorrect. B. The paragraph mentions the risks of pregnancy loss associated with diagnostic tests like amniocentesis or chorionic villus sampling, but it does not imply that prenatal chromosome screening has resulted in significant loss of fetal life. Therefore, Option B is incorrect. D. The paragraph does not indicate that prenatal chromosome screening has commonly shown an increased sign of abortion. It mentions the option of terminating the pregnancy for serious anomalies but does not provide information on a common increase in abortion as a result of prenatal chromosome screening. Therefore, option D is incorrect. In summary, option C is correct because the paragraph states that prenatal chromosome screening has been observed to be used in all pregnancies, encompassing the entire obstetric population. Let's look at the next question. According to the given paragraph, option C is correct. NIPT may dramatically decrease the need for invasive testing. This is supported by the sentence that states, the recent development of non-invasive prenatal testing, NIPT, a high-level screening test using cell-free fetal DNA, offers the opportunity to markedly reduce the requirement for invasive testing. Let's analyze why the other options are incorrect. A. The paragraph does not mention that NIPT will slightly lessen the requirement for invasive testing. It states that NIPT has the potential to markedly reduce the requirement for invasive testing, suggesting a more significant decrease than just a slight reduction. Therefore, option A is incorrect. B. The paragraph does not suggest that NIPT will marginally increase the requirement for invasive testing. It clearly states that NIPT offers the opportunity to markedly reduce the requirement for invasive testing, indicating a decrease rather than an increase. 
Therefore, option B is incorrect. D. The paragraph does not indicate that NIPT will significantly increase the need for invasive testing. It explicitly mentions that NIPT offers the opportunity to markedly reduce the requirement for invasive testing, suggesting a decrease in the need for such procedures. Therefore, option D is incorrect. In summary, based on the paragraph, option C is the correct answer because it accurately reflects that NIPT may dramatically decrease the need for invasive testing. Let's look at the next question. According to the given paragraph, option B is correct. NIPT is considered to be a strong and reliable screening process for lower risk aneuploidy detection. This is supported by the sentence that states, NIPT is now the most sensitive and specific screening test for the common trisomies, with detection rates greater than 99% for trisomy 21 and false positive rates of less than 0.5%. Let's analyze why the other options are incorrect. A. The paragraph does not suggest that NIPT is proving reliable for finding strong and durable lower risk rates. It mentions the performance characteristics of NIPT for different trisomies and sex chromosome anomalies but does not provide information about the reliability of finding strong and durable lower risk rates. Therefore, option A is incorrect. C. The paragraph does not mention anything about NIPT being considered a significantly reliable robotic testing format. It focuses on the sensitivity and specificity of NIPT as a screening test for trisomies. Therefore, option C is incorrect. D. The paragraph does not state that NIPT mainly finds aneuploidy in lower-risk screening processes. It mentions that NIPT is used in lower-risk pregnancies and provides information on its performance characteristics for different types of aneuploidies. However, it does not imply that NIPT's main purpose is to find aneuploidy in lower-risk screening processes. Therefore, option D is incorrect. In summary, based on the paragraph, option B is the correct answer because it accurately reflects that NIPT is considered a strong and reliable screening process for lower risk aneuploidy detection.
Let's look at the next question. 